Hey y'all, what's happening? This is Ivy. And uh gonna do a read. And this is for the fellas. What will I or what should I expect if I date her? Please do not mind. Disregard the background music. My window isn't even open and I'm hearing this. So normally you guys know that I do um, shuffle off camera. Uh, where is it? Do some things that you guys don't typically see me do. Just so you know that I do do it. I have my own spray to cleanse the energy. Even though I do this stuff beforehand, I just like to do it while I'm on camera so you guys can see. So let's pull the cards and this is how you guys can see how um, I allow the cards to come out. Because I don't really um, pull the cards by hand. For those of you that uh, like to see the process, this is how I do it. And I feel better doing it this way because I feel like whatever comes out is truly meant for you because it is from spirit. And I do ask spirit for insight, wisdom, guidance, and vision when I do a reading. All right. So let's get to it. Um, okay. We got a lot going on here. I got cards everywhere. Alright. Uh, so, if you date this person, they may be at a distance from you. Um, I feel like This is someone that may have their intuition blocked. Or you could. You could have your intuition blocked when it comes to this person. Um, let me see something. Because that's kind of... I don't know. Yeah. You can have your intuition blocked when it comes to this individual. Um, this me also. <laughs> this is so messed up. This is also someone who m might be a bit of a narcissist and a cheat. They also could be, um, I would say, still holding on to some things from the past. Give me a second. All right. All right. So, I'm back. Um, anyway, like I said, this is someone who could be um, getting over something. But it's like uh, the worst for them. Could be like really over. This is someone that really may want to start uh, something new. They could be younger than you. So you could expect for them to be younger than you. Also. Wanting to have a new beginning. This could be someone also. Who could be, um, who could show signs of emotional availability against someone younger than you? They may not give the impression right away that they want to have something with you. Um, and it could be as well because they are getting over something. So that is something that you could expect is that they may be in the midst of letting go of something that was really hurtful to them. However, I cannot negate the fact that this person may be a 
bit of a cheat. And if they're not a cheat, they could be or a liar. This could be someone who may be codependent, um, very, very codependent, simply because they may be. This sounds like it could be like a rebound. They, You could be this person's rebound because of this, the codependency, them getting over a hurtful ending with the Ten of Swords in reverse and the Three of Swords in reverse. They, they ended something and it's not as hurtful as it used to be, but they still are getting over it. Okay. Um, so I would just say that with this individual, I wouldn't take it too seriously, or I would maybe wait to see, uh, how things would end up going before getting too serious, like really gauging them in regards to their emotions and where they are, if they really feel like they are at the capacity to truly love again. And um, how far, how long has it been since they had their breakup? So let's see about the chariot. What is going on with the chariot? Since the other cards wanted to come out. One more. There we go. Okay. So that is clear. Alright. So with the four of wands in the chariot, this person could have been moving away from a serious relationship. Possibly a marriage. They could be in the midst of a divorce. Um, however, they could be choosing to have something emotionally with you that is of equal uh, reciprocity. With the four of pentacles and their intuition being blocked, I think that they may possibly hold back a bit simply because... They can't really uh, clearly see or feel their way through their, their current situation or their past situation. It may be their near past, so it may be still a bit too close for them um, to really be able to uh, have clear discernment or judgment. And with the death card here in reverse, they're refusing to allow us another circumstance to happen to have some kind of full change and transformation they're taking it they may be taking it really really hard this ending that they were faced with so they do have a favorable favorable situation here um happening for them where fate is on their side or karma is on their side because they potentially were not the person that did anything wrong however they do have to walk away or are in the midst of walking away from this situation okay where they don't see they don't see initial happiness in the fact that they are walking away and they're having a bit of a hard time getting over this ending. And you could potentially be one of their options, but they may be really confused right now because they are still trying to get over whatever they were dealing with um, in the past. So let's see if we can get some other information going here. But that is essentially what you would be dealing with if you were to date her. She's still getting over a heartbreak and has 
a bit of healing to do. Let's get a slight bit of light. Let's see. Stand your ground in an empowering, confidence building action to take. Oh, standing. I'm sorry. Standing your ground is an empowering confidence building action to take from time to time. Now is the moment when you need to stand your ground. You know you can do it as you know that by doing so, you will be the victor. So if you are the kind of person that is like, as a guy, just kind of go with the flow kind of thing because you... like someone that much that you're just afraid that they will get away and so you do things to your people pleaser you don't need to be the people pleaser you need to stand your ground in this situation and you also need to allow this person to know that um they're not the kind of person that you want to date right now simply because they may have uh, a lot of things that they need to deal with and on the surface they may be you know acting as though they are fine but they are not completely healed and that's not going to be beneficial or conducive to having a healthy relationship so you need to be the one to actually let this person know this is not something that I can do with you right now. And you need to have this uh, stated in the beginning. Um, because you need to be with someone. Like if you've already done the work. You need to also be with someone who has done the work. Or you know if you want to be with this person. I would say make it clear in regards to what your um, your bottom line is. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is deep as the ocean. So this person, um, you may have, have developed strong feelings. You may develop strong feelings for this person and really feel like this is a decent connection. This is someone that I really, really vibe with <clears throat> to the point where you can actually get to developing really strong feelings and emotions for this person. However, when it comes to standing your ground, you have to let them know what your boundaries are. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. Allowing and giving a lot of times is giving someone the space that they need in order to heal and grow. And I don't know, too, if this is someone that uh, you may have known and maybe things have kind of turned over into... A new place where you're taking your relationship from the friend status to um, you know a romantic status let me just see no this is not the deck I want to use I'm sorry y'all I know Seem like I'm probably all over. Let's see what else can we get about this relationship? If this person dates, if he dates her. If he dates her. This says um, new phase. Rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed mind. So I kind of feel like 
with this here. You may be going through a new phase in your life just like this person is. And this could possibly have been someone that you knew from in the past. And maybe you never got that opportunity to really um, see where things could go with you. Because the two of you may have been in separate relationships before you ended up getting together for it to say rekindle. There could have been a time in the past where you were together and then you separated and now you're getting back together again because it does say renew and transformation. So both of you could have become different people in regards to those relationships that you've been in in the past. Therefore, when it says standing your ground, you may need to also clarify the kind of things that you will tolerate or not tolerate because you've already had a bit of history with each other in the past. So you need to really, really make it clear that this is now what you are about. All right, so let's see if we can get you an affirmation. Look after your heart, your space, and your energy. So it feels like you have, like a lot of this, is you stand your ground, look after your heart, your in your space, and your energy. This does feel like you've been with this person in the past and that you want to make sure that you don't have a repeated cycle of not feeling as though the relationship was equally balanced, okay? Um, so... This could be someone that you knew before, like I said, and some time has gone by and you guys want to give it a different shot. So this is what it is. Yeah, I'm in the process of I'm trying to let my hair grow back. Y'all If y'all didn't know I had all my sides cut and I'm braiding it. So this is where we are right now. Um, but it, it sounds like, like I said, that this is somebody who you've been with in the past, there was a bit of a separation, you spent time apart, now you come back together, you guys might have this kind of karmic cycle where you're off and on, off and on, um, and you've changed. There's been a, a transformation with both of you throughout the years, but you need to be clear and let this person know what to expect when they date you, and you need to know or understand from this what you can expect Um if you end up getting back with this person and dating them again, they may really be dealing with some things from the past and it really just may be a better time for you to be a friend to this person opposed to having anything serious. But again, there may be some codependency there. It's up to you as to whether you want to go forward with trying to make this go. Only you would have that um, insight. All right. And we also had sunglasses, watching and looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, and focusing out. So you want to definitely be watchful and make sure that this person is um, not gaslighting you, leading you on because they haven't gotten over their ex. And you want to also make sure that you are not gaslighting this person by keeping them connected to you because it makes you feel good to know that this person will always come back to you. Okay? I hope that's not the case, that you're not using this person and gaslighting them. Um, and hopefully they're not doing that to you in any kind of regard. So this was it. This is what you could expect if you do date her. Okay, um, it's only things that you guys will be able to work out and hopefully you do. So I am Ivy. If it resonated with you, I ask that you would please like, share and subscribe. And more importantly, come back to my channel. I am going to be trying to do some different type of reads and hopefully you guys will resonate with them. Give me a thumbs up if they do. Leave me a comment most of all so that I can... Um, you know, continue to stay engaged with you guys because I really do like to um, 
interact with you guys. I like the comments. Hit your notification bell so you know the next time I upload a video. Thank you for coming to my channel. We appreciate you guys. And, um, you know, it's my second, it's not really my second channel, but I'm trying to get back up there um, and get my numbers back up. Like my last channel, it was really good. So I thank you guys and look out for uh, my community tab where uh, I have it posted when I reach 500 subscribers. I am going to be giving away a free reading to three people. And I will leave the, um, you know, things on the information on that when that time comes on how you can actually be one of those people. So thanks again for coming to my channel, y'all. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.